Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. I'm going to bring you another comic review, Scarlet Number no. 1 by Bendis. And uh, I believe Bendis is writer, of course. Um, this just came out. If you don't want to know what happens, just end the video here and go watch a different video. Uh, of course, on our channel. So let's begin. So it starts off like a destroyed city, you know, and it's like there's shooters and people are getting killed and they're looking for different things and uh, there's a little firefight and stuff like that. And then you realize it's Portland. Uh, basically, they whatever happens, there are some rebels or freedom fighters or something that took over the city of Portland and they didn't give any, they took down all the bridges so there's no access to Portland and they're fighting the US government. So uh, that's where it starts. Then you have uh, Scarlet and uh, she begins to just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. She honestly doesn't stop talking. Um, I can't tell if she's talking to people or if she's talking to herself, if she has multiple personalities, if she's messed up because of this war, whatever it is. Uh, you know, she's talking about the time of the past with Lincoln and slaves, and it's real, I don't know, it's uh, political, I don't know yet about this book. So, keep going, and then you see some more characters enter, and they say, when are we gonna attack? And she's like, when I say we're gonna attack, and stuff like that, and then, all of a sudden, there's a big explosion, and a drone blows up a building. So, you know, the government's probably trying to take back uh, Portland. <laughs> so then you see a drone, and they shoot it down. And, uh, you know, they just keep talking about stuff. And then all of a sudden, you see a Special Forces dude flying out of the sky, and he's like, uh, don't shoot, I'm unarmed, I'm unarmed, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I need you to take this call. I'm going to have a message. And they're like, who is it? And he's like, it's the White House. They want to discuss terms. So I don't know about this book yet. I'll read the next one. I'm, I don't know if I, I hate to do this to Venice and, them and DC, but uh, it's not one of my faves this week for sure. The only good part is, and which I've been noticing a lot in different new books, there's some uh, art in the back. Some old Batman covers. Which is interesting enough. But it's cool. I would say it's uh, the coolest part of the book. So if you're interested in getting copies of covers of old Batman books, this is the book to find it in. Scarlet number one. Alex Maleev. He's the artist. Those were his pictures of Batman in the back. And Brian Michael Venice is the writer. So, I don't know. If you're into that kind of political... I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, you know... Portland's been taken over is basically the premise of the story. And uh, they're fighting the government. So, um, if you're into that, pick it up. If you're not into that, don't. Um, I probably won't be picking it up again. I might read the second issue just to see where it goes. But I think I'm going to stay away from it. So, sorry for the bad news, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll bring you another one soon. Bye-bye.